to record now. Okay, recording. <laughs> yeah, recording. I'm going to use that bit for the uh, trailers, I think. <laughs> so I am, um, if you can't read the bottom, I'm Catherine Gladwin and I'm an expert business mentor. And I'm here with one of my mentees, Catherine Coughlin of Quality Time PA. That's your business name, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Quality Time PA Services. PA Services, sorry. She's got a fantastic website, qtpa.co.uk. And just remind us what services you offer. Well, it's a long list, really. I am a general office support kind of person. So anything from copywriting, proofreading, editing um, documents, invoicing, invoice chasing, expense management, um oh what else do i do oh i even do like dealing with calls and clients on behalf of my clients uh, setting up crms there's a vast array you are, really yeah yeah you you yeah, are research. you're like an office manager as well as a, a personal assistant to to many of your clients because there's so yes. much that you can do for them yes. um i think one thing that um you've actually done for me as well so not only are you my mentee you've also I've been a client of yours as well. Yeah, um, yeah, which is great. Yeah, oh God, well, what you did was fantastic. You read both of my books again, and um, you took out quotes from it to enable me to use those in social media. And I've not yeah. actually told you, but I've seen my sales actually double for the 20% <gasps> rule once, fantastic. absolutely. Now I've started promoting it properly with the help of your quotes, or with, with your quotes. Yeah. Um, well, I, it, I like everything that I see because I'm like, I know that quote. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably thinking, I did that, I did that. <laughs> but it's also good for me to know that those quotes are being so helpful that I did pull out the right parts of your book mm. for you to use them. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it was good to read it again as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Anyway, this isn't about me. <laughs> this is about you. Now, I've okay. already, um, we've already sort of discussed off camera what sort of things we're going to talk about. Um, and as you know, I've got I've got questions that we might go through, but knowing you and me, okay. we'll just make it ad lib anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Look. So what I want to talk about is where you were before we started working together, and where you are now, basically. So where were you before you came across me and we started working together? Um, I came up with the idea of setting up as a virtual assistant on a part-time basis to run alongside my full-time work at the time and that idea came to me in March of 2019 and a lovely friend of mine Joe Watson who is a huge fan of yours as I'm sure you know um, she sent me she or she arranged for you to send me a, co a copy of your first book how to be a virtual assistant because she knew my plans, but she also knew I wasn't very confident in getting going. So your book was sort of the catalyst that made me think, right, I'm going to do this. So I set up, best I could, promoted myself on LinkedIn a little bit. Um, but because I was working full time, it didn't get the energy that it needed, really. So it was the November 2019 when I picked up my first client, my one and only client. He was very ad hoc, but very much loved. Um, and for a while, can I, I can I ask you what you were charging then, as an hourly rate? Twenty five pounds an hour. Yeah. Yeah, because I was a bit. Mm. I knew what I was charged out at as a rate in my day job, which was considerably more. But also, I felt like my lack of experience of being an assistant on my own, as opposed to working for somebody, kept it. At that rate for me um, anyway I was I was unhappy at work and then something happened and I resigned on the 9th of March I made the decision on International Women's Day uh, resigned on the 9th and then I actually left on the Thursday as lockdown was brought in on the Monday wow. and I had one ad hoc client whose work then altered so I wasn't needed so really when I really got involved with you, because um, I joined your VA mentorship in the November, December time of 19, um, I really had nothing. And now I have the added pressure of no, no full-time job to back up what I was trying to achieve. So it was a case of, I put a post on LinkedIn, a case of, I need to make this work. 
and I need to make it work fast. Because mm, the stress as well that we were all under with the mm. pandemic, nobody, n- nobody knew how it was going to pan out. Nobody no, knew if no. we were all going to lose our businesses, no matter what field we were yeah. in. Yeah, and, and that was the thing. And a lot of the people who were had lined up as clients, their businesses just went you know, I mean, there might have been support that has kept them going, but they weren't in a position to, to use somebody like me. So the potentials that I had all vanished very quickly and panic set in. Mm. But you were sort of there as this rudder that kept me, because you kept saying, you can do this, you can do this. You can, And that, that was like your mantra to me, because my, in my head I was like, I'm not good enough. There's so many VAs already out there who are smashing it. How am I going to find a place in that? But you just kept saying, you can do this, you can do this. And the tasks and everything that you gave us, the hints, the tips, the everything, as long as you implement it, it does actually come off in the end. Absolutely. Oh my God. And I think this is, you know, you and I have, have become friends as well through all of this, yeah. haven't we? You know, and, and I've got a nickname for you um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> because of some, well, it, it's probably, you, you, she, I, I call her my problem child and she's absolutely not a problem at all. It's just, it's just a running joke because of some emails yeah. that went missing that I'd probably sent to the wrong email address if we're completely honest. Um, but it, that's the difference is you implement everything. There are a lot of people that are in the position that you were in last March that, are, that were scared. They're still scared now um, and they don't know what to do. And they invest in something, maybe um, a membership, maybe a mastermind, maybe a coach, maybe a mentor. And those people can help. But if you don't implement what advice they're giving you, then nothing's going to change. There's nobody yeah. that can do it for you. And I think yeah. that's, that's why things have changed for you and why you're now in the position that you're in which we'll get to in a minute <laughs> yeah, um, yeah i rudely interrupted but the, the, no, the, no, no, important thing is, the important thing is the um implementation so i was going to ask you about income so if we think about last march god i can't mm-hmm. imagine um you know the, the transition from then to now is just is just amazing absolutely amazing yeah so if we think about last march and your income it was it was zero wasn't it it was as good as zero yeah yeah i lived off savings for the good first few months after my i left my job um and i was i had a lot of, i was looking for other work i was looking for a job because i was so frightened that this was never going to happen mm. but in the background i was doing the challenges and the tasks that you were setting us um, and it just it just came it just came and then it went woo <laughs> <laughs> then it went mental absolutely mental. <laughs> mental it has but I absolutely love it and my my clients are just people that I get on with so wonderfully well you know, and, and they'll drop me little messages saying, thanks for that, you've done this for all oh, my word, you've made such a difference. I know I don't need to think about it once I've given it to you. And it's just like, it, it's almost like invoicing is a, a very small part of the reason why I do what I do. You know, just, just hearing the voices, seeing the emails. I wake up sometimes, I get a little message in WhatsApp and it's just amazing, I love it. I, I feel very lucky to have got the clients that I've got. And that is so important, is to, is to have a passion for what you do. Like, that is a really good point about the invoicing because you pay me for my mentoring. You pay me for that. But I don't see you as an income. I don't see you as a figure. That transition that yeah. you make and the transition that all of my mentees make is just, is, is the passion. In yeah. fact, I can go so far as to say I get frustrated when people don't implement and then are like, well, I've not seen any change. Like, well you haven't actually done anything so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's the thing and I did have periods of that because if you remember I, I joined you in November 19 but I didn't actually really start using you until the March April time when it was tearing your hair out panic stations and it was like oh I really need to start doing something because it was like I meant to I meant to I meant to but obviously working full-time you know I'm 
my, my son was still at home I'm helping my mum so there was stuff going on mm. but when I needed to really start paying attention to what you were telling me I did and like I said you were there at the back all the time going don't wait it will come it will come that's that's what I remember you saying to me yeah and and and, and of course with the tasks and the challenges and, and me getting to know everybody uniquely because everybody is no there's no one size fits all in anything is there no, um no. but it, yeah getting to know you i was able to know what was needed for your business and it also is a reflection of you as well because you you weren't saying yes to everything you had yeah. made sure you were saying yes to the right potential clients and and yeah. and that is so very important and that's why you're um enjoying it i now. love it and why they enjoy you too because they found the right person now we are nearly a year on from when you made that decision to flick them the bird and, and say goodbye um, to, to employment and zero income, <laughs> zero income, living off your, your savings, which is very difficult to do because you don't know when that's going to run out or what you're going to need. No. So I'm going to ask the question now, what we, we've just, maybe coming up to an invoicing day or we've just finished just done it just done you've done your invoicing brilliant i forgot yeah, to do mine yeah. for this month uh, last month so what have you invoiced last month do i need to tell you the actual numbers or can i just tell you that i've replaced my pre-tax salary you say whatever you're comfortable with yeah what i did um in fact it's two months ago it, it took nine months because I, I couldn't officially start promoting myself until the 3rd of april last year and in january it took nine months for me to replace my salary wonderful so, free tax yeah and i do half the hours that i was doing and yes there is the natural day-to-day -day stresses of running your own business and looking after your clients and juggling everything but my stress levels have i have changed i've gone back to the person that i used to be instead of somebody who's constantly constantly on edge even when you're not in work yeah so you know even if i hadn't matched my salary i was still pleased with how things were going if that makes sense because i'm not driven by money I am more definitely driven by helping my clients and making sure I do a good job for them, but also having that flexibility to help my mum. You know, she's moved house recently for the second time in a year and I was able to help and I'm sorting out the rent and the phone and all that, you know, and, and my children, like one day my son messaged me and he said, can we have a walk for old time's sake, mum? Yeah. <laughs> so... I got, all, I got up early, got all my work done so that me and my boy could go out and spend some old time sick because he moved out of the last lockdown. So all of a sudden our lives changed without plan. That was another thing. Um, so that is what the work I do is about. You know, it's about helping my clients, but having that freedom, not yeah. having to ask permission to take my mum for a doctor's appointment. No or to go for a walk, or I need to drop my car off for a service, you know? It just takes it, away that stress, doesn't it? Because I mean, even booking yeah. something like a doctor's appointment, you're like, they, they say to you, uh, 11 o'clock on Thursday, and you're like, oh God, uh, I've, got to let the, I've got to let my employers know, or uh, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, yeah. And, and you just don't think about it, you know? And some days I'm at my desk at seven o'clock in the morning, some days I'm at my desk at 10 o'clock at night. Sometimes I do do bits at weekend. But that is purely my choice. There that you've there set boundaries. There isn't a lot else to do apart from work. <laughs> there is nothing. I walk. I go walking a lot. Um, and I know that when life comes back, weekends might be different. But if I want to dip in and out of something, just so that I know I've ticked something off and my brain is settled, I will do that. And my clients are brilliant. They don't, in, you know, they don't impose. No, nope, because you've set boundaries. Yeah. And they respect me and um, if they really need something they know i will do it you know i have met some pretty tight deadlines for people and i have put long hours in but i know i can pull that back yeah without having to explain myself to anybody and i love it now you've you, we've we've discussed that you have just fired through those income goals absolutely just because you didn't need to earn as much as what you're earning now 
You didn't no, need didn't. to get to your no. pre, pre-tax pre salary. You didn't need to get to that. No. Um, so you've, you've exceeded what those income goals were. But what we, we've not yet mentioned is that y- it's not just you in your business now. You're growing a team. Yeah. Yes, look at the yeah. smile there. So <laughs> it, was, it was always my dream. And it wasn't about me earning money. It was about knowing how hard it is to get yourself off the ground. And if I've got enough work, that means I can share that with somebody else who isn't in the position that I'm in. Because obviously, if somebody's really busy, they're not going to want to work with or for someone else. They're fully booked. But if they've got capacity, they're not quite where they want to be. And if I can help by saying, oh, I've got this, yeah. And it's, it's been brilliant because yeah. it's, it's been a being not, not having to say no to a client. I've also had um, somebody work alongside me with an existing client and he was like, yeah, let her do this bit of work. But then I want it to be just you and me again. I'm like, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> For this project part, you know, I can't do everything in the time frame, So I've shared it. Um, and then I've got uh, new clients now. I, I let them interview a couple of the girls who I'm working with and they choose the one they feel they'll work best with. Yeah. Rather than me saying, oh, you have such a body. They need to be part of that decision because yes. it's such a yeah. personal service. Mm, we, you know, we, I mean, I've been a beauty therapist for 20 odd years. You get to know people intimately. The only <laughs> bikini wax really yeah do. i get you <laughs> men women everything and it's not that dissimilar the only difference is i'm not whipping hairs out by the roots <laughs> I, 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 I hate to think what your zoom calls are like with your clients if it's if it's similar to waxing <laughs> i knew this would take another waxing. form i knew you'd I'd see, this is why she's called the problem child <laughs> yeah i'm a weirdo um, but but yeah it's just I feel very fortunate that I came across you in my early days because I really, I don't feel I would have got as far on my own. That's, that that's magical. That means a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. That means and, a lot. And the other girls in the group as well, because the day I made that big decision, first thing I did was post in the group. Do you yeah. remember? I did the yeah. video in my car. Yeah. My heart was thumping. I was sweating. I had stuff to do, but I needed to tell you and your group because the support in there was was phenomenal and it just gave me that little extra courage to do what I needed to do. Brilliant. So, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly proud. I am incredibly proud. <laughs> um, so what's, what's next for you? Um, I think I now need to sort of sort myself out in a better way because I have been like a hamster recently just because of the amount of work coming in and trying to juggle trying to share work out now um but yeah it's to get myself into a real good routine with the core clients that I've got and then grow the client base to grow my team yep and that's it really because I'm not I'm not one of these I'm not motivated by millions and millions of pounds I'll get to a point where I just think this is enough. Yeah. You know, my children are going to get older. They might have children. They might want a grandma one day. I mean, yeah. I want to have that freedom to go and babysit and Absolutely. change nappies. And, and, and like I always say life. to you and to the other mentees is that it, it, if you take on a new client or anything changes in your business, there's a two week period of it being overwhelming and you feel that you yeah. need to, you're, you're desperate to get back into a routine. So as you're yes. taking on team members, there will be an element of like, feels like everybody's thrown things in the air and you need to get back into it. But yeah. it, it, you know, it will, it'll even out. I always say, give it two it weeks does. before you panic. Yeah. 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 And then when and, you take and I do on, keep saying that. Yeah. it will calm down. It will calm down. <laughs> it will. And it'll just, it'll just move along perfectly. And, and then yeah. when you need to take on more team members, you'll know that there'll be a, a small period of feeling, but it'll yeah. get a lot easier. It'll get a lot easier. So. Yeah, and it's getting enough clients to, because obviously I've not made any promises to anybody. I've just sort of, I'm getting to know people because I want to feel like my clients, if anything happened to me, like, yeah. like for you, you needed somebody to help you keep going. 
and you picked the right people to make that happen. And I want to be in a similar position where, God forbid, but if, if anything did ever happen to me, I've already got a couple of people where I could say, you know, I can't do this right now, but yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And so important just, to have a team. So important. Yeah. 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 And the feeling that they'll care as much about my clients as I do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they care yeah. about you because they've got to know you and you, you're having that period of getting to know you. So yeah. your transformation has basically been from stressed unhappy employee i think i can safely yeah, say that yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't a nice environment for you to be in at all um your confidence was being knocked massively and it really shouldn't have been because you're a, a, an amazing amazing person um so the confidence had built up you realized yeah. your dream you've created your dream and your dream is just going like off the scale because you are yeah. earning your pre-tax salary you're growing a team and you want to continue growing that team. And you're surrounded by clients that get you and that appreciate you. That love you. Yeah. And I love that, you know, yeah. very quickly. It's like, you know, and some occasions they'll just ring just for a chat or just to update me on something that's I going on. you've got on. the clock on. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's one nothing. lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no, not every single, sometimes it's just nice to have that connection with them. If that and works for you. Through lockdown, yeah, I know, I know, because sometimes I'm having a quick chat, I can hear your voice in the back. <laughs> what your time around? Well, to be honest, those clients have got me through the worst year this the world has ever known in our lifetime. Yeah. So if that means five, ten minutes quick, yeah. you know. Yeah. And and it swings and roundabouts. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. I need something from them. Or I might say, I can't meet this deadline. It will be. And they're like, don't worry about it. You know? Yeah. It's give and take. Absolutely. So final question. Um, no, it's not the final question. Almost okay. the final question. Um, okay. What's the biggest thing you've taken away from working with me so far, do you think? Ooh, the biggest. I think the biggest thing is have confidence in yourself. Because if you don't, you'll, you'll never do anything. And the other thing is you have to do it. Mm, yeah. There's no point just talking about it. There's no point saying I will. And there's no point paying for something if you're not implementing what you're paying for. Yeah. And, and what you do, it isn't difficult. No. It's clearly <laughs> set out. You know, and some of the tasks you might think, oh, that's, that's so easy. But I didn't think of it. And it made such a big difference. So, yeah, the main thing is you've got to have faith in yourself, which do, isn't always easy to find. Um, and you've got to do it. You've, you know, if, if somebody's paying for you to be their mentor, you're giving them these things to do for a reason, not for the good of your health and not just to pass time. No, 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 no. And it, do, it will work. It does work. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you've got to keep at it. And you will have days where it's like really down there and you wonder what the heck you're doing. And, you know, even in the last six months, I've looked at job boards just in case, but it hasn't, it's just not necessary now. No. I feel like I'm getting, oh, and the 20% rule. <laughs> yes, yes, the 20% rule. We must always stick to the 20% rule, mustn't yeah, we? Yeah, Which I mean, I've got a listen. couple who are sneaking above that at the minute. But because I've got so many core clients, yeah, they kind of even themselves out, you know. Absolutely, and you've got the plans in place, ready for um, the team to grow and, and, yeah. and help with that. And for anybody that doesn't know, the 20% rule is something I trademarked um, when I wrote my book, The 20% Rule, and it's effectively no one client should take up more than 20% of your time or your income. Because if you yeah. lost them, you'd lose all of that income and it's difficult yeah. to then replace it. And, and it's not something that you can do as a new business owner, but it's something you must always strive to do. And although Catherine says that um, uh, there's a couple of clients creeping above the 20%, she's in a fantastic position because she's got a big lot of clients and she's also got her team as well that can, that can help with things. So if she did lose a big client, she can claw back work from her team and not lose too much money 
So. And just keep doing it because you can't, just because I've got the clients I've got at the moment, anything can happen. This year has shown us anything can happen. So it's, it's keeping yourself visible as well, which I haven't done for the last couple of weeks. Um, but you've got to just keep being there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if, if anybody watching this would like to work with me, then you've got options over on my website, which is katherinegladwin.co.uk. And you can see how to spell my name just at the bottom of the screen, which I'm pointing to, but nobody can see me pointing, obviously. Still haven't got used to that. Must be my age. Catherine, where can people find you? Um, at my house in Rosendale. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the foxes and the deer on the hill no um my website is qtpa.co.uk simple as that or you can find me on linkedin as well i do tend to prowl on there sometimes and, yeah you know, and we said at the beginning people. of the call that you were charging 25 pound an hour which is fantastic you know as a new va a lot of people go in a lot lower than that they don't need to but they do um but you're now charging 30 pound and getting yeah. it aren't you yeah 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 I think we need to have a talk off camera about putting it up again. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll, we'll have a we'll chat. Have, we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great to see you. Thank you so much for yeah, your time. You I'm not paying you for it, by the way. No, no, I'm not charging you for <laughs> it. It's all right. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs>